Well, hello there. Welcome to a playthrough. Um, I've been waiting to play for for a while, um, and it just was free on Epic Game Store. So I was like, let me play it now because I there's too many other games so I want to buy. So I like literally like just spare my money for those games. Um, I'm not gonna spoil what games I'm gonna be playing, but yeah. Anyways, um, let's start the new game and see how it goes. Managed to get you a new one. Yeah! Ah, but before I give it to you, you have to promise to take better care of him. Okay. Better than the ones that you destroyed before. I promise. <laughs> a moon bear for my moon bear. <laughs> I'm almost ready, Kathy. Give me five minutes to get to my wetsuit. Don't overdo it, honey. School and work never stops. You just pace yourself. But I know, I know, I just lost track of time, plus the subject matter. Fascinating. <laughs> Father like daughter, I guess. <clears throat> Promise? Yes. Alright, um, here we are. By the way, I did play Deliver Us, um, Deliver Us the Moon, To the Moon or something. Um, which is actually a very fun game, Platinum Dirt and everything. So, I don't know if there's like a continuation of that. If this is like sometime in the future after it happened, because they look at that, that's from, um, that pillow, like the, that's from Deliver Us the Moon. So it could be afterwards. What's this? Whoa, okay. Uh, oh, it's a rocket model. What? This? Moon Bundle Volume 1. Park Crossing. First contact. Hmm. Okay, so it's like a story. Oh, nice. There's Mars. I no, I can't. Okay. Hey, it's the robot thing. I mean, this could be the same person. Like this, is just their backstory from uh, the Lavars to the Moon. I I don't remember. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, so star bears are a thing. Nice. A little cozy place. There's Earth. Oh, there's a space helmet. What's this? Claire Johnson. Oh. <laughs> well, alright then. Um, just looking around, Mom. No need to worry.
I saw to it. I probably need to go downstairs, but what's over here? What's this? You're still my center of gravity. It's the moon. Right then. What? Priscilla flowers. Five lessons to make you a perfect parrot. Oh gosh. Perfect parent, you say. Ooh, there's a little dock. Massive lake. I would live in a place like this. Can I spread? Yeah. <laughs> Can't open doors, right? No. Alright then. Great property, just 15 minutes from the new campus. We must have earned a free loyalty relocation at this point. Lizzie, the, another one of these seasons and this entire area will be a desert. Can we just hold off until the kids are done with school and I actually finish a residency for once? I'm just trying to keep us safe. <laughs> Honey, kids have a death that commutes to the moon. Safe means something else to them. What? I want to give them just a bit of normalcy, okay? Great! Mummies and daddies are allowed to do this. I'm Breaking news as we go live to the southern border of Colorado in the United States, where fighting has erupted between refugees and border troops. President Vincent has denounced the violence, stating that. Weren't you going to go snorkeling with Claire? Seems like this is before that tra that tragedy happened. Spectacular dive, honey. <laughs> Thanks. Such an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> I think I pulled something. Right. Uh, wait. What? Who? Who's? Who's that? <laughs> wait. Who's what? Is that is that the mom and that's like a sister or something? Probably a sister. I have no idea. Is that the sister? I d I didn't hear what happened anyways. You're taking moon bear snorkeling? <laughs> yes. I know, Dad, don't worry. Come on! Okay, so it is the sister. Okay, bye, Dad. Love you. Better I was wondering what was going on there. Before Dad catches you. Come on. Run. Who's winning? No one. All right. Um. What's that? It's just a pile of leaves, just like a random pile of leaves. No significance whatsoever. Uh, Come on, Kathy. Get in the water. Oh, I can jump. Nice. Um, I move around. Free camera. Aha! Oh gosh, no, not that type of controls. Anyways, um, let's go. Wait, let me just check out the, uh, the rest of the yard. What's this? Can I kick the ball? I can't kick the ball. No. Oh, I could almost fit in there. Uh, Kathy, what did I say? But Moon Bear wants to go snorkeling too. B bring me the bear, you little troublemaker. <laughs> no. I swear, you get this cheekiness from your mother, not from me. Hmm. <laughs> Gonna take it? No. All right then. But yeah, so it seems like this is before the entire like generator of the moon thing failed. Can you can we see anything? No, can't. Okay. Come on, Kathy, jump in. It's probably like a flashback. I'm gonna be on the moon right now. Ah! Where did mass come from? Okay, something happening. I'm going to get you out of the window. Come on. Dad? It's alright, 
Cathy Johansson. Whatever happens, you must keep Ada close to you at all times and never let her out of your sight, alright? I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. Listen, remember, we must be very quiet, okay? No. Just listen to me. You have to go. You have to go. How are your legs? At least 60 AD. I don't know when the other one took place. We don't have time for that now, darling. I won't move there. I, I think it's somewhere in this room. Uh, be quick. But yeah, for those who don't like know of the game spoilers lit, but the end of that game ended basically with you seemingly dying when you tried to rescue someone um, that was very gravely injured. Um, probably your sister, I think. And yeah, so and it like ended on someone coming into the room and. It looks like you were being rescued or something. I don't know how long it's been, but yeah, like you, you were seemingly dying. So I wonder if I'm a clone. <laughs> That's what I was going about there. Right, That's the same. Go, go for me, quickly. So I'm wondering, yeah, because uh, I wonder. Because we weren't a kid when we were in the first game, so I have no idea. Anyways. Found it. Great, now, now come to me. I need your help. Or oh, this is still like before everything went down. And I can't remember the time the period. Of the room. When it turns on, I need you to press it, okay? Okay. Now, Mumba. Press, 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 press. Boom! Huh? Okay, it's time to go. What are you up to? Oh, I didn't even know he was gonna be sneaking. That's funny. Come on, look over there. Okay. Let's go. They're gone. Let's go. Okay, listen carefully, darling. In the room on the other side of the vent up there is Ace. Rose's Ace? Yes, we need to take him with us and get him back to her. Ace likes me best. After Rosa. Absolutely. That's why I need you to climb up there and call him over to you. Quiet. All right then. So it looks like we were part of the colony that was on the moon that failed. So they were all planning to abandon Earth. Let's tell the team we've got the Lunar Council AC in our hands. We need to see more of these holograms. Ace. Ace. It's me. Hi. Follow me. Guessing we have two companions now. I did it, father. Are you proud? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? ASC unit number 67354-N. Initiate transfer protocol. Lunar Council override. Isaac Johansson. Code 170544. Dad, Ace isn't like this. It's okay. He doesn't know we're taking him back to see Rosa. Isaac Johansson. The cops are hurrying. They're probably looking for us now. Dad, my legs hurt. Come, I'll, I'll carry you. Hold me, Daddy.
to him. I think this may maybe like the moon lab being destroyed thing. No, oh, the short but like. It's working. Why isn't Vita store? Come on, come on. Please understand, if Daddy goes back to Earth with Claire, you and I will never be allowed to see each other again. We have to board the ship before it leaves without us. I need to get that door open. Follow me, quick.
What do you think, Ayla? Reckon we'll get a few more months out of this relic? <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> If your butt is starting to hurt from the car seat, you're welcome to come up here and help me. Mm hmm? No, I'm good. Besides, that wouldn't be much help anyway. You're right. You wouldn't. That's an MPD system for nerds. Okay. Okay, bro. Just be honest. You're feeling too threatened by me and my super brain. That super brain of yours still needs to be chaperoned to every MPT dish by a senior staff member like me. Remember? Wait, did you finally admit that you're old? Whatever. Anyway, I'm nearly done. Just have to cut out some plating that's obstructing the beam's waveguide. Can you let Moonhub know the dish is ready to receive? I already did. Don't forget to hook the stream points back up to the receivers. Mm-hmm. Got it. Seems like I didn't um, grow, grow at all. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's weird. And yeah, this seems like before um, the whole moon hub thing went down. Isn't this like the receiver or something? I don't know. Let's go down. Yeah, look at that. Whoa. Like graphic settings? I wanna let me check check something. Graphics. Okay, so I'm on medium of all. Could put it on epic. Just to see if it looks better. Computer might be dying because of this, but Uh, that didn't really do much, but anyways. Uh, which way? Probably the other way. What's this? Nothing. Let's go down here. Yeah, I'm gonna change the graphics. <laughs> it's um very laggy. Anyways, uh, graphics. So let's put it on medium again. Oh, I did not apply it, you douchebag. Anyway, supply. Yeah, that's better. I mean, I mean, the game looks fine anyway, so... Like I said, I don't have the best PC. <clears throat> Far from it. Jump! What's this? You know, I can do it? No? This. Yes. Follow the lines. In the garden. Raining. Yeah. I went over the lines. Nice. Alright, now let's get the stream points hooked up and then we're done. How do I do that? Over here? No? Yeah. Ooh, down there. Looks like there's a... Yup! Fall down! Run! Which way? What's over here? Uh, WSA. Nothing important. Anyways, anyway, uh, anything over here? No? Right then. Um, <clears throat> right in, um, ah, ladder. Okay, I can't really remember the first game. I don't know if you were, Let me have like, these stream points and I'll be right there. Like a guy that went to go get his daughter or something, or wife or something. I can't remember. Because it because to me, when I saw that guy, I was like, shouldn't that probably be the protagonist from the first game? And I have no idea. I can't I can't remember the person itself. I remember the game. 
But I don't remember what the goal was, like who we actually went to save. Because we did go to save someone. Probably gonna find out in a minute, so... If this, um... Corresponds to the first game. I don't miss that one. What is this? Uh, what do I do with this? Where do I point this? What? Ah. I was wondering what's going on there. Connected. How do people cope before stream tech? Must have been a mess of cables snaking around entire living rooms. I remember it well. No, well yeah. Times. Okay, just gotta find the receiver point to connect it to. Right. Is that all? No? What? Down there? Does it need to charge? What is going on? Oh, oh. Nope. Connected. There we go. Let's have a look. Hey. Jump! Alright, This is track. the third site I've had to hook up to a stream point. These dishes shouldn't be running on emergency power. Yeah, along with everything else in this place. These smaller Cascade antennae can't withstand another thermal shock. Not with the prolonged power traffic that's passing through them. You realize no one understands what you're saying, right? Come on, even you know what a cyclotron wave rectifier is. Okay, now you're just making up words. Hop on. I'll be gonna allow me to get in the front seat or I don't. Still doing drinks after this. Claire almost choked me to death last week for giving beer. What? Listen, your sister might not be big, but when it's something that concerns you, that woman can kill a lion with her bare hands. So that's it. Yes, on the drinks. Hello. Hold on. I got a message that I've been asked to go to Maria right away. Apparently for some classified emergency meeting. Maria? Oh, that must be really serious. Can I tag along? No. You only have to smuggle me past security, and then once I'm in, I'll just... No. Fine. I know that fine. Claire? You going to that meeting at Maria's? That meeting you're not invited to? Yeah. Please, Claire, if you just let me through security, then I'll just... You know... I really have to go. Perhaps you can find mine. No, I'll just hear about it later. It's fine. Stop. Is it? It is. 
Just let the grown-ups handle this secret meeting first. Okay, that was uncalled for. Just wanted to make sure you're not still going to try anything dumb to get in. I won't. Hmm. Don't even think about it. Uh-huh. Might think about it. All right then. <laughs> um, so it seems like people are at war. I mean, of course. I wonder if it's going to be like tying into the story. Like we're going to be doing things and then suddenly the beam from the moon is going to like power up everything. Right. Like again. Let's go find another way to Maria's office. I don't know. That's called lying, Ayla. Let's go. I didn't know we're going to Mars because it's the level of Mars. But I wonder how and why. There's the whole thing about the the level of the moon was um, the habitat thing where we had to bring the power back to Earth so the Earth could survive. So I'm wondering how this ties into that game. Hey, people, the palace. People of the palace, anything to say? No? Are you floating? No, yeah. Alright then. Look at that dude. Alright then. Oh, there's more people. Aha. Uh, scan? I can't scan people? Oh, my lad. Uh, thing yellow gold. Oh, it was the, the thing. All right. All righty then. Anything to say? Golf lady? No. All right. Which way am I going? This way. All right. <laughs> The museum. Yeah, we can cut through here to Maria's. Might be fun to have a look around too. Not been here in ages. There's old moon rover. What's that? It's another artwork. I've already seen that one. Looks like no one has. There's the moon. There's a. There's a again. What's this? In 2041. The lunar MPT dish helped diminish the planet's energy crisis by massively increasing energy yields. After the great blackout of 2054 and the instigation of Mission Fortuna, Rolf Robertson made his way to the moon base to restart the MPT, giving his life in the process. WSA really is trying their best to help our world with our energy needs. I'm sure we'll get to help the entire population someday. Well, there's your answer. That's the person we played as. Okay, so this is afterwards. Okay, so it's a satellite. Okay, so it has actually. Huh. So he did. So so we did actually die. Well, seemingly died. No one knows because like you were trapped on the moon. So how how would anyone know? Um, we have to go that way. So let me just press this. Microwave power technology is a revolutionary form of energy absorption and distribution. The lunar MPT along with the 42 Earth-based MPT receivers, helped stop the growing energy crisis of the 2030s. MPTs. My jam. I got absolutely fascinated by it when I saw my dad working on it every day. He really saved this planet when he designed this. Hmm. Well, it's good to know now that, um... That's what happened. Because I was... I was... I forgot like all about it. And about like the persons, I mean. Like the game itself, I can like, from memory, like tell you everything we have to do in that game. But, <laughs> persons, not as much. Alex. There's Helium 3. The thing we need. That's the blackout. We went there. Fortuna. Alright then, let's see what's ahead of us. There's no buttons to press here. Ah, no, there was. There was buttons. I'm missing the buttons. One button. Right. After the great blackout catapulted the Earth back into an energy crisis, Claire Johansson, Maria Gonzalez, and Rolf Robertson undertook Mission Fortuna, a manned rocket mission to discover the blackout's cause. Robertson, under the guise of Johansson and Gonzalez, refueled and reconnected the MPT dish. Claire really had such a big hand in reviving the WSA.
After the success of Mission Fortuna, Claire Johansson spearheaded Mission Vestia to provide manpower to the Lunar MPT and bring Rolf's body back home. Claire and her team discovered WSA software engineer Sarah Baker critically injured in cryosleep. Isaac Johansson, one of the three Lunar Council members and core outward instigators, took the last arc and escaped. That's the last time I saw Dad. I'm fine. Just remembering it always feels... Interesting. I'm fine. So people did go to go and find them. Okay. But uh, oh dang it, I looked away. Anyways, um, you could probably pause the screen just just quickly enough to see what happened there. What's this? Outward. There's too many things to see there. by the Lunar Council members sometime before the Great Blackout, Project Outward saw the evacuation of nearly all Moonbase residents on board three large spacefaring vessels known as ARCs. The location of the traitorous council members, as well as the rest of the Moonbase crew, remains unknown. My dad designed and built most of the ARCs that they used. Like almost everything else here at the WSA. It was supposed to be an escape plan for the colony if something ever went wrong. Hey, huh. give that door a try and see if we get lucky. Aha! Wondering when this is gonna happen. Yep. Thank God. Well, worth a try. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Looking good, sis. <laughs> they really need to change these. I look nothing like that anymore. Are you joking? You look so good still. Thanks, I try. You? Trying anything? Yeah, right. I just, I meant that, like, Thanks. you. Never have to come on, Alex. Try. Are you headed to Maria's office? Oh, why? Oh, I'm just going the same way. So, hey, I was just looking at a few of the Mission Fortuna exhibits on my way over here. That's good. How long were you actually stationed on the moon? I was on the space station, mostly. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's why I never saw you on the surface, I guess. I saw you. Oh, really? When I did software upgrades for Rose's ASE. Oh, yeah, ACE. No, ASE. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, <laughs> I named it ACE because I didn't get that ASE was an acronym, so I just kept calling it Ace, and Rosa would just start doing that too. It's kind of a confusing name, I guess. <laughs> right. Awkward. Yours is named Alex, right? Uh, where are you headed to? Wait, wait, you didn't answer my question yet. Uh, question? About how long you were stationed on the moon? You want the years with the forced cry asleep or without? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I really just need to get to the meeting, Kat. I just wanted to apologize for what happened with my dad. I I know he didn't mean what he did. I think that's why he tried to save you on the moon. Save me? Your dad did not... 
Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but what your dad and the Lunar Council did, they, they left us here to rot. They committed the worst crimes imaginable against humankind and our planet. They deserve to be punished for what they've done. Am I interrupting something? No. No. Thanks to an entire backlog of precedents, I know not to be surprised to see you here. If I made it this far, you might as well just let no. me... No. Maria's gonna be on video, you no. know? No! Okay, I thought you guys rehearsed that. We totally did. I like being a rebel. Let's go. Six years. What? On the moon. It was six years. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. Right. Thanks. Well, she seems a bit rude. I know the truth. I played the guy that goes the way to save you, you douchebag. Anyways, um, cut, cut, cut it. What? A bit finicky, more right then. Oh, they're just breaking through the random area. And I, nope. All right then. Uh, nope. All right then. Uh, aha. La 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 la. Nice. Thank you. And trip of it. Hmm. What am I doing? I'm doing something. Um. Can you please break the things? The fudge, man. Right. We. No worry. I'm on it. Spadro activated. Absolutely certain. So it must be them. Yes. We feel that we can safely assume that Project Outward sent this signal directly to us. Intentionally. I... can't believe it. They're on Mars? What? Seemingly have been for the last 13 years. Closer than any of us could have imagined. You okay? Can't imagine this must be easy to hear with everything. I'm fine. I'm fine. I assume we can find a just fine mission up for then. Mission Opera? Since we pulled Sarah and Kathy from the moon, we've been formulating a contingency plan, should we discover Outward's location. During Mission Vestia, we found indications that the three art vessels Outward used to leave the moon weren't just for transportation. Our information leads us to believe these three arcs actually form a shrine, a completely self-reliant settlement. But why reach out? Why now? Is it a distress signal or an invitation? Doesn't matter. Mission Opera has only one objective. Bring the Arcs and their revolutionary technology back home. We should analyze the distress signal. Maybe we can determine the encryption used. We're working on it as we speak. I can enable terminal access in the back office. See what you make of it. Ada, quick. Find a way inside that room.
Perfect. Ayla, stay right there. What you're about to hear cannot leave this room. Understood? start by including Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. I trust them both in my life. That leaves one more position to be filled. Yes. Hey. Hi. At the risk of sounding like an idiot, I think we should take Kathy. What? 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 She was leagues above the other graduates in our program. You mean, the only class of astronauts that we've had in the past ten years? It doesn't change the fact that she aced nearly every exercise, sometimes even doubling my scores. I know you want to keep her out of this, but she's the best MPT engineer we've got. We need her expertise. And look, I will deny ever saying this under oath, I might add. Kathy is the most talented individual the WSA is working for them. Apart from you two. And me, of course. Uh, we're not seriously discussing this, are we? I mean, she... She has no prior experience. She's a complete risk to the mission. Sarah's right. Kathy shouldn't be part of the team. There are too many factors Why involved. Hey, hey, Maria. Hey, come in, please. Seriously? Please, Claire, let me be a part of the mission. Were you eavesdropping? Yeah, and I'm sorry for that, but Claire, you know I've proven myself to the WSA. Two concurrent science degrees, majored in stream tech, top marks in the astronaut training program, like Ryan said. Thanks for the kind words, by the way, mate. Sure. And you need my MPT expertise. Please, Claire, with you by my side, I know I can do this. We can do this. Plus, there's only like, what? Three other trained astronauts to choose from, so... I think you should take her on the team, Claire. What? 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 Nice. She's one of the most qualified people we have at the WSA. However, the final say is yours, of course. Okay, Kathy. Even though look, Ryan's last argument was severely lacking, yeah. Ouch. I believe you'll do everything you can to guarantee the mission's success. Right, Kat? Of course. Now I would like to go over the minutia for the mission with Claire, Sarah, and Ryan. Can you let us handle this without listening in this time? Oh, well, seeing as I'm now... Kathy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Of course.
You're all snug in there, Ayla. You need anything? A cup of coffee? Magazine? You diva. <laughs> You look nervous. And that amuses you? No, no. Just seeing you, you're proud. <clears throat> hey, that scar on Sarah's stomach, is, is that the one Dad gave her? Yeah, why? Just curious. Knock, knock. You ready? Let's go. Yeah? <sighs> right, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, next time we leave off, we're going to Mars. Way. So yeah, with the story. So and I remember there's like a place where you had get the helium three I think five one of the two um, and then there was like audio logs where like a guy was there he was trying to like steal something or st I don't know like take the helium with them and then um, he accidentally stabbed that woman and that's what put her in a coma and so that is so that's the person we found in the prior drive so it's interesting to learn that uh, that was actually the dad of this girl right here. So it's like a... It all ties in like that into the story. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Um, I am... I know I'm very late on like... This has Creed Mirage. Um, like with the playthrough and everything. I'm, I'm already done. I've been done for like... How long have... I think I've literally been done for an entire month now with um, Mirage. I just never got to editing the videos together. And like the videos are there, I just need to edit them together and put them on YouTube. Um, which I probably will be doing after I upload this episode. Um, so if you see them, like, yeah, it's a, it's a long time. Like I could have like uploaded all of it like a month ago, but I didn't. I think it was a month ago. It could be like less of that, like maybe like let's say like three weeks maybe um, ago. But I know I like finished it very early on um, in November. So yeah. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode. See you next time on Deliver Us Mars. Let's go.